This is exactly what happens when you jump off a cruise ship into shark infested waters and most likely what happened to that 18 year old who did the dare. Oh wow. They come from nowhere, wow. Go oh, you And that came directly from a news outlet on Twitter by the name of Southland Post, so shout out to them. But I only prefaced this video with that video of what we just saw was a whole swarm of sharks just jumping at the sight of two week old musty meat making a ripple in their territories. And we all saw how quick those sharks were right up on top of that meat pause and it's just sad that i'm having to read that in 2023 we still have idiots running around under the influence and willing to do anything to get validation from the people who they think are their friends and i'm just getting tired of it because like if the idiot dies okay well i guess if it was his time to go it was his time to go the universe is a very crazy place but if you're intentionally putting your life at risk knowing full well that you still have a mom and a dad aunts uncles cousins brothers and sisters grandmas and grandpas who still care about your dumb ass why would you even risk your life like that's just very selfish off of trying to prove that you're basically not pussy <laughs> like drop the ego they say in the article a shadowy image captured in the water surrounding a louisiana baseball star who jumped off a party boat for a dare has sparked speculation. The teen was swimming away from a shark. Cameron Robbins, 18, jumped off the Blackbeard's Revenge Sunset cruise ship while celebrating his high school graduation near Athol Island in the Bahamas last Wednesday. The search for the missing teen was called off two days later though. Footage shows Robbins swimming in the water as a life preserver is thrown out to him and classmates tell him to grab on. But the teenager seems to be fixated on a shadowy shape which appears in the water and immediately begins swimming away. The video has sparked speculation online that Robbins may have met his end after a shark went after him. People have claimed that they can clearly see a shark in the video. Providing an update yesterday, Royal Bahamas Defense Force, RBDF, confirmed that the area where Robbins went overboard is indeed, and I quote, really shark infested. This kid fucking jumped off! Oh my fucking god! Oh! Oh, bye bye! Oh shit! That's hey, not right. the boot! So for those of you who just missed it, I'm gonna go back a few seconds to show you. And this footage caught by a random passenger on that cruise ship. I'm gonna pause at the moment where we'll see the shark. This kid fucking jumped off! Right there, as soon as the kid jumps in the water, a shark also pops up out of the water as well. According to the user that posted this footage by the name of Clips That Go Hard, they say footage shows Cameron Robbins 18 who jumped off a cruise ship in the Bahamas as a dare on Wednesday, May 24th, 2023. He has still not been found and the search has been suspended. Because of course, if you jump into the middle of the fucking ocean where shark infested waters also reside, then you're a fucking idiot. Congratulations. You played yourself. Great fucking job to the idiots who told this kid to jump into the water and for the kid to also do it himself. Congratulations on making your parents sad for the rest of their natural lives. Jesus. This is 18 year old Cameron Robbins from Louisiana who graduated high school a week ago today. Three days after graduating. So just this past Wednesday, Cameron and a group of his friends went to Nassau in the Bahamas. Just four hours after arriving, Cameron and his friends jump on this pirate themed sunset cruise. Let's be honest, the drinking age in the Bahamas is 18. They had just gotten down there, so I don't know for sure, but I'm assuming he was drinking, and his friends dared him to jump off the back of the boat. This whole story just gets even more fucking dumb as every second passes. Buddy actually went to the Bahamas knowing knowing full well that there's mad sharks down there, and it's, it's nighttime, and the motherfuckers driving the boat are probably high or drunk or a combination of the two, lit as fuck, trying to party as well. And you think motherfuckers will have 
have enough time to come save your dumb ass at night while everybody's trying to have a good time themselves like i'm kind of high recording this but at the same time i'm i'm actually like maybe some people truly are just not meant to be here so at 9 40 at night cameron jumps off the back of the boat they said he was just feet away from the boat the boat keeps going and he was nowhere to be seen. Immediately, the captain of the boat was notified. They stayed for hours looking for him and they couldn't find him. So eventually they returned to dock. Whoa, so I'm gonna imagine that an 18 year old, if he jumps into the water, right? In the middle of the ocean, I would assume that an 18 year old can keep himself afloat, right? In a life or death situation for at least an hour, he can still paddle and keep himself afloat for oxygen. But if they stayed around for hours after the captain was notified about the situation and it looks like a pretty small boat so they probably would have stopped it immediately if they couldn't find his ass after stopping probably a quarter of a mile by the time the captain was i know a lot of small boats are pretty fast so if they actually did turn around and started looking for him within a reasonable time frame then they should have found him unless he truly was dragged down and eaten alive by a swarm of sharks that were most likely in those shark infested waters and you know not to sound kind of nerdy but i wanted to become a marine biologist one day and and I used to love watching nature shows all the time when I was a kid. So with that in mind, the thought did come into my head that if sharks really got to him within that moment and were this aggressive with him being in their territories, could it possibly be mating season? And based on what I searched up here, let me zoom in. It does say that sperm is stored into ovulation and that it takes place from May to July for what is known as the shark mating season. So we are quite literally in the middle of shark mating season. And this kid decides to jump in shark infested waters in the Bahamas? What the fuck? No wonder why there's the highest possibility of him getting his ass torn up by them hungry sharks. But I just read that as of Saturday evening, they stopped looking for Cameron. Was it a really stupid thing what he did? Obviously, yes. But if we all had to pay with our life for dumb shit we did when we were 18, I don't think any of us would be here. Okay, girl, please. No projection. Not trying to come for you, but uh, not all of us were this dumb at 18. Not all of us were doing life or death, truth or dare situations that would have costed us our life at 18 or younger or even older. Some of us are just taught and were raised with common sense and didn't need to seek validation or attention or approval from people that truly didn't care about their lives. Like I would never ever, if I'm on a cruise ship with my best friend, my brother or whoever that I feel is so close to me that I would give my life up for them to tell them to jump off a cruise ship in the middle of the night while we're all lit and drunk knowing full well the ocean is a very dangerous place and not and it's not meant for people like I would never do that but supposedly his friends who cared so much about him had the audacity to dare him to do that under the influence like it's crazy but yeah man uh shout out to crime time tea time on tiktok honestly I I don't know what causes some people to lose their lives to dumb shit like this I would assume it's parents probably raised them well uh, some my condolences to whoever is deeply impacted and affected by the death of 18 year old cameron some my condolences to his mom his dad and siblings if he has them of just death to a dumb decision anyways everybody follow me on twitter follow me on instagram and join our community discord you can always send video topics there or you can dm me your video topics or suggestions to my dms on twitter or instagram and yeah everybody until next time stay safe out there